Hi everyone, um, welcome to this video on writing the objective section of your CV. In the making of this video, I've looked at these three books, um, the top three on Amazon, so it's very well researched. And so we'll start with what should you include in an objective. First of all, it's not completely essential. Um, depending on where you are in your career, uh, it's it's not completely essential so don't worry too much if you can't think of what to write um, but if you are writing it in one or two lines to demonstrate your career outline is absolutely perfect how do you write it? well it should match the style of your personal profile uh, which you've written before um, your aim is to let the reader know what sort of position you are looking for and give them a taste of what you can offer Here are some examples, um, which you could, you could pause the tape here and have a look at them, or we'll come back to them later. Um, so the first one's keen to achieve further professional development, now looking to build an extensive range of technical skills within a suitable, challenging IT management role. Or we've got currently looking for a new and challenging role as a QS, one we will which will make best use of existing skills and experience while enabling further personal and professional development. If you're still looking for more help uh, on writing the rest of your CV, then do check out my other videos on uh, writing the other sections. And also, um, if you didn't know, there are some CV ser writing services on the internet, which means um, You'd have to pay for your CV to be done. Uh, prices start around about 30 to 40 pounds, but it saves the hassle of writing your CV. So if you want to check out which ones are the best ones, then have a look at cvservicesreview.co.uk. Um, thanks very much.